Are you looking for a fun and tasty dish for your next game night? Whether cooking for the kids or having friends over, Chef Paul Lillikas has the recipe that is sure to be. I told them about this recipe and they thought this is very interesting because schnitzel is already amazing on its own, but then when you turn it into a schnitzel pop, like that's just it's a party fun, appetizer. it's a party appetizer. Yep. So where did this idea even come from? So I grew up eating a lot of schnitzel yes. and I just loved it. And I thought, how do we turn this epic uh, main course into an appetizer? Absolutely. And so first things first, I was thinking about using the classic pork loin, cutting it into maybe chunks or uh, pounding it out into little medallions. And then mm -hmm. I thought, why not just use pork tenderloin? So smart. It's readily available. It's done for you. It's already tender and it's the perfect shape. And you don't have to pound it out, you don't make any mess. Yes, it's also lean, I might add. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking for that, it's game night, so you don't really care. But if you were, it's nice <laughs> that it's lean. Yeah. Right? So first things first, you just cut yourself, uh, or get yourself a nice piece of pork tenderloin. Yeah. And I've already removed the silver skin off mm -hmm. the top, okay? That'll help with tenderness. And I just sliced nice centimeter or half inch thick slices. Okay. And that's really all there is to it. You don't have to go any further than that. And we're going to set up a little breading station. This is pretty classic. Yeah. You got uh, a little bit of whisked egg and a little bit of seasoned flour, so there's just a little bit of salt in there. Okay. And you can either use seasoned breadcrumbs or you can use regular breadcrumbs and just add a little more salt and pepper. Okay. So we're gonna use the dry hand, wet hand method. So which I always mess up, by the way. Don't don't <laughs> eat at my house. <laughs> I feel like people know this already, but maybe they don't. They do know it, but yeah. I never get sick of you know seeing it and learning it because don't you sometimes get confused? Come on, you can tell me. No. Even then, never. No, never. <laughs> You're a chef. That's right. Chefs don't get it wrong. Okay, so this is the dry hand doing its thing. Yep, and back into the egg here. <gasps> See, that's where it gets tricky. Okay. okay. And now, <gasps> I screwed up the... Uh... the wet Did you screw it up? <laughs> yeah, see, not alone. Ta -da. <laughs> but as long as we stick to the dry hand, right into the We're bread fine. crumbs. No on one's top. poisoned at this dinner party. No. No. So give it a good coat. Good coat. Of both. And then we're gonna just shallow fry it. So okay. into a pan with maybe, you know, a centimeter of oil. Yeah. Heated to about 350 degrees. So you have to keep in mind, when you have people coming over, how many of these are you actually making? Uh, I don't know, maybe a few okay. dozen. Maybe Let's say you dozen. have six people coming. How many do you want? I'd make about four per person. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, so I'd make maybe two dozen. Yeah, don't be stingy, guys. Because people are going to want a lot of these, right? I, think so. I want minimum four. And you can keep them in the fridge if they're left over. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. All right, so while those cook away, we're yeah. going to make a little bit of a dipping sauce. So uh, you could use applesauce, you could use, you could use whatever you like, but okay. I really like a honey mustard. And we're going to take Me honey too. mustard up a notch. Okay. So I have about two tablespoons of a nice uh, blueberry wildflower honey. Yeah. That's fancy. Yeah, you don't. You can use whatever honey you have, as long as it's a liquid honey. I like that. Or if you have a crystallized honey, you can just microwave it a little. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mm-hmm. And a little bit. This is the weird part. A little soy sauce, just Ooh. a half a teaspoon. Okay. Okay. So a little bit salty. That'll add a little bit of saltiness and a little complexity. You won't mm -hmm. really taste it much. Yeah. And a little bit of red chili. See, I'm all about that. Give it some heat. Very nice. And now we're just going to mix that up. Isn't it nice how you can take just a regular honey mustard though and bump it up like that? Yeah. With a bit of soy and a bit of uh, the chili chili pepper or and the chili flakes. Absolutely, and it adds a little, just a little bit of heat and yeah. a little something something. So, I like to make this beforehand and let it sit for a little while. Give yeah. the chili flakes a little bit of time to infuse into the honey. 100%. And these well, are this definitely is not ready to flip yet. <laughs> well, this is happening. This is when you have your stein of beer. Exactly. Are you German? Is that where the I'm schnitzel? Estonian. You're Estonian. Yeah. So schnitzel's a big di dish yeah, in, in Estonia. Yeah, in all over Europe, really. So right. it's a perfect uh, beer side snack, great yeah. with a little bit of cheese on the side. I like pickles. And one other thing is, Get yourself some nice skewers. Right. So you could use a regular bamboo skewer, but yeah. if you go to a restaurant supply store or you can buy them online, get yourself a nice skewer that kind of so elevates cute. it a little bit. Yes. Be a little bit fancy. Listen, part of it is the, the cooking, of course. It's an important part of it. Yep. Part of it is the presentation, though. Absolutely. So it's really nice if it looks all great uh, for the guests. Totally.